Outsiders must have bypassed the control side. Yeah, 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 shut up. And this nuke is getting launched whether we like it or not. We've got to get to the targeting computer. <laughs> Quiet. We got hostiles! We got that spot locked down! Up and away! Hit it hard! Taking Get behind shot. that! Roger, moving out! In position! Healing engaged. Grenade! Ah, uh, can't take much more! <clears throat> Grenade! Get down! Get ready! Ah, this is a bad <laughs> All right, we gotta get somebody up in the air. No. Lifting. You'll do. You're being an asshole. Keep going. Get them. <clears throat> oh, grenade! Hit it hard! Take it in. Did he just say Goog Shoes? I'm pinned down! Damn it, shields are up! Oh, shield, eh? The doctor! Walk it off. Lifting it. Oh, wait, I don't want that. Take cover there. Moving now. Moving now. There. <laughs> Contact! Get ready! Hello, idiot. That was a great place to go. Oh, Commander, you're 
wounded. Oh shit. Healing engaged. The hell did he hit me with? Hit it hard. Well, they're chucking grenades at me. That asshole. Taking the shot. Really, he didn't die. Damn, they love those grenades. Need orders. <laughs> Commander, I need a medic. Let us try. Grenades! Fucking grenades! They go crazy with them. We're all dead. Let's get moving. Huh. <sighs> Well, that was stressful. Running dry on the ammo here. What the heck is that? Nah, we're not doing that yet. Yay! Full on ammo again. Alright, fellas, let's go do this. That was easier than expected. Okay, the eggheads on our side say that the targeting system is so simple, a child could retarget a nuke. Or an alien. Put a lid on it. Barnes, give me some safe coordinates to send this nuke. I read you. Uh, try 11 degrees, 35 minutes north. And one six five degrees twenty three minutes east. Confirming eleven degrees thirty five minutes north, one six five degrees twenty three minutes east. Barnes, what the hell did I just nuke? Bikini Atoll, nuclear test site. Nice one. Good work, Barnes. Let's head home. Oh wow, cool. Twenty minutes to beat that one. We got a medical pack, a laser pistol, and a laser submachine gun. Jeez, sectopods are nuts. Mutons, too. Oh, that went okay. Agent Carter, report to the engineering wing. William Carter to the engineering wing. Plot! Make it quick. That's all for now. Thank you, sir. And keep up the good work. There are a lot of people out there who need you. I will. Let's 
See if there's any new dialogue with any of these people. Looking for a few answers? If you get nope. any insights, let us know. Will do, Carter. <laughs> nice. What sound does a dog make? Arr, arr, arr. No, bang. Goff, goff, that's kind of funny. Wait, this is new. Never been in here before. Did I solve your problem? Yes. I'm going to get some answers. Good luck. Okay. No, I didn't. Let's go see if the lab is open. I'm not going to engineering just because they told me to. What's in here? I'm sure Falk has the lab codes finding some way to track him down. Wasn't the spy invisible? How are they gonna know if there's another one around watching them? Damn. You're right. This looks like the infirmary. Carter, join me. Oh, shit. Guess I found the engineering wing. I don't like it when my agents go off the rails, Carter. Never ignore my orders again. You're lucky things turned out as well as they did with Dr. Weir's rescue. I'll overlook it this time. I understand the situation is getting to you. Weaver tell you that? Or you just figured it out on your own? I need to know I can trust you, Carter. I took a big risk including you in this operation. And I'm about to take another. In case you forgot, I was the one who caught the infiltrator. I'm well aware. And you're going to help us interrogate the captain. Woo! But we absolutely cannot afford another breach. Especially not now. We can't afford to let any of our information become public. I've been wanting to have a talk with that infiltrator. There's a lot we can learn from him, but right now, there's one piece of info that could help us end the war. What's that? Where to strike. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> UFO time. Impressive. But can it win the war? It can give us a fighting chance. What do we know about the infiltrator? We've been running a barrage of tests on it. Preliminary interrogation, medical checks. The boys in the lab even took a look at the devices implanted in him. Find anything useful? We don't even know his name. Or if his kind even have names. But we have reason to believe he'll be more responsive now. What happened? Lock him in solitary for a couple weeks? You might be closer than you think. In a recent examination, our surgeons removed this from his head. We think it's some kind of communication <coughs> device. He was bugged? We're not sure. Weir thinks it was his connection to Mosaic. That's their communication network. According to Dr. Weir, yes. Whatever it is, ever since we removed this thing, the infiltrator's been less aggressive, more morose. Interesting. How do we know we can take them out in one strike? Weir's been studying their transmissions, and he believes they're coming from a single source. That's this mosaic thing they talk about? Yes. The doctor says his measurements prove that it's some sort of central command, possibly even a single being. And if our tests are correct, it is indeed more than just some sort of radio network. How so? After studying the infiltrator's implants and physiology, we believe it connects directly to the minds of the Outsiders. So if we take out Mosaic's core, we shut down every Outsider on this planet. The Borg! Oh, but we need to know more. Would you like to know more? 
That's an impressive flying saucer you've built. Actually, the Air Force was already toying with a prototype like this. Our German associate just made a few modifications, including everything we could steal from the outsiders. How does it handle? When it's finished, it'll be faster and more maneuverable than anything in the skies. Can it get through those Venn gates of theirs? That's what we need you to find out. <laughs> I'll see what I can get out of the infiltrator. Good. We've got him in a containment center in the lab, built especially for him. Got his own luxury suite, huh? That ought to soften him up. Don't count on it. How gentle do I need to be? Just be careful. He's the only captive we have. Well, I, I could fix that. Give me a stun gun. Send me out to the field. So, you can move in any direction? Like a helicopter? Yes. If a helicopter was twice as good, five times faster, I could fly through a vacuum. Ah, that makes quite a difference. that I'd want an ejection seat in something that could move five times faster than a helicopter. Seems at that point it'd be sort of a... I don't know... pointless gesture? A pirate, vic a pirate victory? A pirate victory, rather? Sorry. <clears throat> Alright, that's engineering, which I accidentally discovered. No, I'm serious. They got him here, locked up for interrogation. So, the one place we know is safe, just when we've got everything operational, they go bring a friggin' alien in here. Well, to be fair, if they're going to interrogate one of them, where else could they go? He asks an important question. They say these people's eyes are black. Just solid black. Are you serious? Why? What's wrong with them? I don't know. They keep saying the same thing over and over. What the hell? Bob's a whore. So, we're gonna fight the Martians by building our own flying saucers? Shut it, will you? <coughs> you supposed to know about that. is awesome. If I find the person who keeps drinking my personal store of Thunder Cola, I will turn you in as an infiltrator and see you in front of a firing line. <laughs> it's almost as bad as fucking with a coffee drinker. <laughs> I can go in the toilet. And there's nothing in here. Only the men's toilet. Oh. So this is open now. Well, that's fine. How do we know we don't have more of them in here? If there was another one, don't you think he would have tried to help his friend bust out? Maybe not. I don't know if it were me, I'd sit back and laugh my ass off that my friend got captured. Oh, uh, what do you know about it? So, you weren't even there. I know, but I got no 
Oh, some crazy ray gun. Damn, these people are nasty to each other. Carter, what's this I hear about people sleepwalking through cities? It's some sort of sickness. Just another way those bastards are killing us out there. What, the death rays aren't doing the job fast enough? The infection doesn't seem to do any physical harm, except to their looks. Just traps them in their own head. And that's better than being dead, is it? Tell me more about that friend in the service. Anything like the sleepwalkers? Well, I can't say it was too similar. I mean, poor old Ken didn't have black gunk all over his eyes to start. But the things he saw when we were in the Great War... Terrible things happened during war. Anyway, he never got over the shock. And Myron and I never got over what happened to him. I just hope we can do more for those sleepwalkers. How are our food and water supplies? We should be able to hold off for another month. Maybe more, with tighter rationing. You've known the old man for a while. Has he always been <coughs> this paranoid? No, not at all. In fact, I remember when he used to be a naive new recruit. What happened to him? Well, it's not hardly my place to tell his life story. But let's just say that sort of attitude doesn't last after the third time a refugee pulls a gun on you. That's enough prying for now. Any time, Carter. I think he likes that I'm prying. Have you heard about what they got down there in the big hangar? No, and neither have you. Huh? But one of the maintenance techs told me... Nothing. Nobody told you a damn thing. Trust me on this. I hate that kind of bravado. Oh, those are my guys. Huh. And they're not dead. That's surprising. Ah, <laughs> this right here. This is a shot right at the atheists, right across the bow. <clears throat> right, what we got in here? Xenobiology Containment, Block 1. All right, into the lab. Here you're gonna have a word with you know who. Give him a shiner for me, will ya? Yeah, no problem. Fucker, I'll be lucky if that's all I do. Ooh, shiny water. Well, goo. Water effects on the ground is what I'm talking about, or floor. <clears throat> oh shit, no Geneva Convention for aliens. What the hell is that? Looks like a badass reactor. Like a warp core. Oh neat, I can go in there. Double neat, I can go in there! Alright, let's go talk to these jerkbags over here first, then we'll go explore the big room of awesome. Wait a minute. The infiltrator's right inside, Agent Carter. If you need anything, just ask. Yeah, go to hell. We're gonna go check out this giant glowing thing first. <clears throat> they appear to eat Crap, breathe, bleed, and die like us. <clears throat> I 
Wow, Dr. Jeff Hera is an asshole. I think I would like that, Mr. Folk. I think I would like that very much. You are Dr. Heinrich Dressner, correct? Yeah, Mr. Folk. And do you understand why I am interviewing you today? Officially or unofficially? None of this will be in the final records of your immigration. Officially, our commitment to Yalta Mimi must turn you away. And yet, here we both are. Yes, well, we can't risk losing a mind like yours to the Soviets, now can we? <laughs> you need not worry about that, sir. There is a reason I surrender to your soldiers, or not to Stalin's. What reason is that? I do not like their cold winters. Very <laughs> funny. Regardless, we need to talk about your past affiliations. What is there to say? What was done was terrible, wasteful, inhuman. I have regrets, but I had no part in that. No way to prevent it. You could have laughed. At the time, I did have a family to support. Also, I feared my once great nation would turn to the Communist Party. So you supported the alternative? <sighs> Only at first. By the time I saw what they truly were, it was too late to escape. I'm a scientist, Mr. Folk. I understand physics, fluid dynamics, chemical reactions. But I cannot see the future. I cannot predict the horrors of my fellow men. We can't offer you atonement, Doctor. But we can offer you a chance to use your skills to help people. Oh, I can't get in there. What's in here? There's cool stuff everywhere. Hello, Turbo. Of course, I've got a cool cat now, too. Ugh. Well, that one's alive. Well, he's fugly. Wrong button. Ah, sorry. Just shuffling the mouse a little bit. What next? Let's go downstairs, check out the giant glowing swirling thing. Calm yourself, Doctor. Your rationality will not help us identify enemy infiltrators. Calm while you perform tests on men, like livestock. These tests serve to protect them, and after all, they are all volunteers. Maybe, but we're still not certain of what side effects. Ah, William. Welcome to our newly refitted laboratory. I'm certain that Dr. Veer would love to give you a tour of the facilities. Yeah, Herr yeah, Doctor? Yes, of course. I'll just leave Heinrich to his tests. Well, thanks, Heinrich. <clears throat> Personal shielding. That'd be handy to have in real life, wouldn't it? Throw up a shield, go to a shitty part of town, pick a fight, beat off like 20 people. Well, not beat off. That's the wrong word. Uh, smack the, you know, kick the crap out of 20 people. 